Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 30 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less, and I will tell you the small sales all add up. So um, actually the first item I'm gonna tell you about, I put in my cart at the Goodwill bins, and I meant to take it back out after I comped it, but for some reason, after I comped it, Instead of putting it back into the bins, I put it back into my cart. But you know what? It sold. I made money and I'm going to tell you about it. So um, just kind of a funny little start to the video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, these items sold for $35 or less. That is what I call my bread and butter. I am going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. I also have big money bolo videos where I share with you my high dollar sales. So you can check out those, but they're on another video. So let's get started with the easier to find bread and butter items. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first item is the item I was telling you about. So I was at the bins and again, I was like, oh, this is sealed. Um, it's got to have good comps. It's sealed, sealed, right? Learning Spanish. So, uh, like I said, I meant to take it out of my cart and put it back in. I, I'm going to guess this was probably in the $2 range because at the Goodwill bins, it is by weight. And this guy was pretty heavy. So I ended up selling it for $13 and 50 cents, not a huge sale, but $2 and two, $13.50 is not awful. Uh, the buyer was all in for $17.51 with tax and shipping. The next item I sold came out of a mystery box. So if you're not familiar um, with my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, I do a lot of unboxings over there of mystery boxes that I pick up at thrift stores. And this was one of the toys that came out of the box. So it's really, really cool. It's learn to dress playboards. And this really was in, it was excellent used condition. I'm not sure if it was ever used. But um, because I didn't know and I was not the original owner, I did mark it as used. It wasn't sealed. So I'm assuming it was just lightly played with. Um, I sold this for $14 and the buyer was all in for $26.24. So I did take a best offer on that item. The next item. All right, you guys, hats. They can be all over the place. They can range from bread and butter to big money. And I got to tell you, when I picked up these hats, I bought a whole bag full at a garage sale. And I wasn't sure if they were going to be big money or bread and butter. I paid one price for all of them. I don't even recall what the price was, but I'm guessing I had 25 cents to 50 cents per hat by the time it was all said and done. Now, this one is a strap back, so I kind of had a feeling that it wasn't going to be worth a whole lot, but you just never know because it was a vintage mellow yellow hat. I ended up selling this for $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, um, a long time ago, and I have a video on it, I parted out a Ninja Turtles playset. Now, some of the items sell quickly. Some of the items are very long tail. It just depends. You really need the right buyer for this item. So I put this playset together. I watched a YouTube video to put the playset together. I got it at a garage sale, and I was hoping it was going to be complete. Well, I got the thing together, and it was not complete. And I'm like, okay, I've done all of this work. Now I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to sell the parts individually. So um, that's what I ended up doing. This is the ooze pipe. Uh, it's like a funnel that goes to the playset. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $8 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, could I have held out for the entire $11.47? I'm going to say yes, but the offer came in. I've had it a while and I've already made my money back like majorly with the other items that I've sold and I still have items left. I mean, when you part out a big play set, I part out the floor, I part out everything. Well, I don't, I think I gave the floors to my consignment girl. I don't know if they ever got listed. Um, but anyway, most of it, uh, I don't like the really big stuff and the floor base was really, really big. 
But in hindsight, I wish I would have just listed it. Uh, but all the small parts and even the medium-sized parts, I definitely uh, listed those. If you want to see that video, uh, it is somewhere on this channel. <laughs> the next item I sold is this Frozen Elsa Anna reversible topsy-turvy flip doll. And um, it is a Disney Parks doll. So it's really one doll. But what I did is I put it into three photos so you can actually see that what that it's reversible. I don't know. I thought that was kind of a cool way to show it. And I ended up selling this for $17.24 and the buyer paid shipping. I honestly, I've had two or three of these uh, that I have sold or had listed. And I am not sure where I got it. I typically pick up my plush for a dollar or less. The next item I sold is this Paw Patrol. Um, it's Marshall, the fire ambulance pup. And he's the red guy. And he sold for $11.25. The buyer was all in for $18.30. Now, I ended up grabbing this at a thrift store in a bundle. So I've got about 50 cents in this. But you guys, you can find these all the time at garage sales. I will say people have a tendency to price them a little high. So you have to wait for the right price. You don't want to overpay because they're usually just a bread and butter item. The next item, I picked this up. I thought maybe my husband would want it, but he did not. So I listed it and it actually sold super quick. Um, I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale and it ended up selling for best offer of 10. At the buyer was all in for $14.93. So it's a Timex Men's Iron Man Triathlon Replacement Watch Band. And I, it was new and uh, new old stock, NOS. The next item I sold is a very, very uh, small bread and butter, meaning it did not sell for much. Uh, I sold this for $7.50. The buyer was all in for 12. This is a very small little toy. Now, the reason I listed this is it's Safari LTD. I've never seen anything like it. I felt like somebody is going to want this toy. And they did. Now, I bought this in a bundle of toys that may have been a mystery box. So I probably had pennies in this. So to me, pennies into $7.50, it's worth it. Now, could I be listing a big money bolo and not this? Yes, but I like to um, have lots of options in my store to bring buyers in and hopefully, you know, have them look at other items. The next item I sold is this Lego Apple brick set, the brick apple. Um, it's from 2010, so it's new old stock. And I got this out of a mystery box, actually. It was pretty exciting. And I sold this for $33.75. The buyer was all in for $42.70. The next item, okay, this was a part of my Thrift 5 and 15. And if you guys haven't checked out that video, it was a collab that I put together with a bunch of other YouTubers. And we all had to go into a thrift store 15 minutes, five items, and it was super fun. So if you put hashtag thrift five in 15 into the YouTube search bar, it will pull up those other videos. This was one of my items, but it, it had some other items with it. Um, it was a house and then some other stuff, but you can check that out in the video. But I sold this for $15 and the buyer was all in for $23.16 and my cost of goods by the time I parted it out was probably about a dollar. The next item is this Disney Store Alice in Wonderland. So I went to a garage sale and there was a bunch of Disney Store plush. I ended up paying $4 for this, which I don't normally pay $4 for my plush, but I wanted these dolls because they are princesses and I think there was Tinkerbell and then some rare ones. It ended up all, um, by the time I added it up and parted it out, it was like four bucks each, but some of them are bigger money than others. This one ended up selling for $22.50, which is not too bad. That's still good margins. And the buyer was all in for $28.90. The next item I sold is this vintage 1983 McDonald's cup and I sold this for $11.25. The buyer was all in for $17.12 with tax and shipping. 
And the bummer part is I had another one and I went to open it and I cracked it. So um, I only got to list one. I got this at an estate sale and I do have footage of that estate sale on my sourcing with Bo. Er, hmm, it says estate sale on the title. It's either on this channel or my sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I think it's over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, but it was an awesome estate sale. And it was kind of like a locally run one. So it, you know, sometimes when you go to an actual estate sale that's ran by a company, they're really like fancy. Nothing was priced at this sale that I remember. I just bundled everything and they gave me a price. So I probably had, I don't know, less than a dollar in this. The next item is this Longerberger Bud Vase. It's pottery and it's just a small vase. And right here I have it beside a tape measure. So almost seven inches. And I sold this for $14.99. I picked it up at a garage sale. I think it was either two or three dollars. I had a burgundy one and it sold much quicker and I think it sold for more. Uh, the buyer was all in for $26.59 with tax and shipping. The next item I sold is this coach black leather replacement hang tag charm for a purse. There are two here. Only one has the chain. This came out of a dibble box that I bought off of Donatella Bottolino. A dibble bit box is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. It's basically a reseller box. But I happened to buy a, it was kind of like a men's, uh, uh, let's see. I don't want to call it, yeah, a man's box. There were items in it that I wanted for my husband. Let's put it that way. And that's what really made me want this box. And I wanted my husband to do a video. So I'm like, I'll buy him a box and then I'll make him unbox it with me. So that is over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. My husband and I unboxed this. I told him he could have whatever he wanted. And he, um, he ended up giving me some stuff to sell, but he did keep quite a bit. Like he didn't want the coach charms. <laughs> so I ended up selling these for $14.99 plus shipping. And um, Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You, that is where I buy my mystery boxes and my, not the unboxings that I do from the thrift store. These are separate. These, they're either called a dibble box or I'll tell you it's from Auctions for You. But um, I've gotten some great inventory. So definitely check them out. I do have them linked below. The next item is this mixed lot of zoo and farm animal minifigures. And I picked these up. Ooh, I can't remember. I think this might have been like multiple places and I just threw things in a tote and then I was like putting all the animals together. I do that a lot. So it's probably a bunch of places, but I probably don't have much in it. Sold it for $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Lennox gold accented hummingbird trinket box. And honestly, you guys, I do not recall where I got this. Um, I have been putting it in the skew area to help me remember uh, for when I do my videos. But for some reason, I did not have this one marked. So it ended up selling for $13.50 and the buyer was all in for $20.37. The next item also came from that estate sale. There was a ton of McDonald's stuff. Um, there are probably a lot of items that I passed on that I should have picked up. I know in the comments of the video, people were like, you should have got this. And I'm like, ah, you know, but I have so much inventory. But I did pick up these suspenders. These were damaged. Um, I can't remember. I had two pair. One were damaged. One was damaged. One was not. I think the other one is still listed. Um, I do have those priced a little higher. So this sold for $18.75. The buyer was all in for $25.07. This cast iron horse came from a garage sale. It was kind of like a bundle buy. So I probably have about a dollar in it. I sold this for $22.49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of a mystery box. It was a vintage toy box and it came from Auctions for You. I was telling you about that. Her and Donatella do um, their selling events. They go back and forth on each other's channels. So make sure you sub to both of them. And I know you guys that are already subbed to them and already go to their auctions and their selling events are probably like, oh, I already know about it. Quit telling people. But anyway, um, I sold this for $18. The buyer was all in for $24.86. Um, I always say there is enough to go around. I mean, there is inventory everywhere. 
So you just have to find what you like to source. And I really enjoy sourcing from them because I always learn so much and I make a lot of money. So, all right, the next item. Okay, this just goes to show you that not all single stitch t-shirts are big money. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. So I was kind of like, oh, it's a single stitch, you know? And it says living on the edge. So that's uh, Sting, right? The band Sting. And I was a little bit like, I might have a bolo here. And it's made in the USA. But you guys, this thing did not want to sell at all. Um, I finally sold it for $7.49. And the buyer was all in for $13.88. And maybe I should have like washed it and dried it and got the wrinkles out. That probably would have been a good idea. But I didn't. So I was being a lazy reseller. All right, this vintage Halloween dimensions iron-on transfer. These iron-on transfers are typically long tail, but if you can get them cheap, they don't take up much room. They're easy to list. They're great bread and butter, uh, especially like things with Halloween or Christmas or something different that's collectible. This one I sold for a best offer of 10. The buyer was all in for 15 20 Okay, you guys. Most of you are not going to waste your time on this. Uh, the reason I listed it is I was listing a bunch of dollhouse items and this one came up and I thought about bundling it. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to list it really quick. And I listed it individually and it ended up selling uh, major bread and butter for $6.75 and the buyer paid shipping. But when you add in tax and shipping, the buyer paid $11.70 for a little dollhouse cake. Yeah. So worth it or not worth it? Let me know what you think in the comments. The next item is this Cranium Caribou Game for replacement balls. Okay, you guys. So I did a whole video telling you how I parted out this Caribou Game. If you go over to my reseller testing products channel, you can check out that video. Um, there's been a couple videos where I have parted items out and I'm putting those videos over on that channel. So it is linked down below also. I sold these uh, caribou balls for $12.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Marks of Navarone playset replacement mountain top piece. This is another item I parted out. I do have a couple videos over on reseller testing products that tells you about this as well. Um, I sold this for $27 best offer. The buyer was all in for $34.59. And it's the hook knob rope that goes, I think it hooks to the top of the set. I can't remember exactly. Kind of like a pulley type deal. The next item, okay. This is Nickelodeon Paw Patrol. And you saw the one before that was Marshall and his vehicle. This is just Ryder. He is the like main character that takes care of the dogs and tells them what to do. He's like the boss. Um, I, I don't think I've ever, I'm trying to think there may be, okay, I take that back because I went to a garage sale the other day and I was looking at a set and there was a guy on a train and I'm like, is this Paw Patrol? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, I've never seen this guy, but this is the guy you always see with the Paw Patrol. Now I will tell you, he comes in different outfits. This is a rare outfit. I shouldn't say maybe rare, but a harder to find outfit. Um, I'm not sure which place that it goes with, but um, I love selling Paw Patrol. So uh, I actually have like two bags full. I've been collecting it, trying to figure out how I'm going to list it. And I just never get to it. But this guy I did list and I sold him for $13 and the buyer was all in for $18.29. And I got this at a thrift store and my cost of goods was about 25 cents. All right, this mixed lot of bobby pins. Okay, if you guys missed my vintage hair things, oh my goodness, you guys have got to go watch it. Um, that is on this channel. And I got some big money bolo hair accessories, vintage hair accessories. I'm telling you, they can be big money. But anyway, I played the video and somebody, one of my viewers watched it and they made a comment. And they said they were going to come buy it. And they came and bought it from me. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. 
Um, somebody messaged me the other day or made a comment like, how many of your sales are viewer sales? And I'm like, uh, maybe like one a month. I don't get very many viewer sales. And that's okay. You know, if you guys want to check out my store and buy something, I greatly appreciate it, but it is definitely not expected. So um, it's always a nice surprise and I do get tickled when it happens. Um, always, I do say, if you make me an offer, please put Bolo Buddies in the comments. Um, of the offer so that I know you're from the channel. Um, that helps me, you know, know that you're a subscriber. So I appreciate that. And I'll work with you. And again, so the bobby pins uh, sold for $15 and the buyer was all in for $22.10. The next item I sold is this Transformers Rescue Bots garbage truck. And it is Play School Heroes. Awesome. Whenever I find these, I buy them. Now, they do range from $10 or less up to $30, $35, I think is the most I have sold one for. I typically pick them up in bundles. Um, I've picked up some on Facebook. I picked some up on at thrift stores and garage sales. So they're relatively easy to find. Um, sold this one for $28.50. The buyer was all in for $36.54. And you can see it pops into this. These are very, very basic transformers, you guys. Super, super easy. Um, I do have some videos showing how to open them over on my reseller testing products channel. The next item I sold are these vintage paper mache Christmas or ornaments. They are safari animals and they're super, super cute. I thought these were going to sell really fast. They ended up being more of a long tail item. I'm not sure why, but um, I was happy to see them go. I don't even recall where I got them. I want to say maybe an estate sale, but I, I'm just not sure. Um, I sold them for $23.60. The buyer was all in for $31.80. The next item I sold is this Hearthstone Pottery Mug. Um, Hearthstone, I just have this problem with picking up Hearthstone. I don't know. I just always pick it up when I see it. Um, I actually bought like a really big set from the thrift store. I just could not walk away from it. And I I didn't want to sell it because it was going to be a pain to actually ship. It probably definitely would have been a bolo, but um, it was from the 80s. And I messaged my sister and I'm like, do you want this? Because it was kind of like uh, big stuff that you could put like mashed potatoes in and put a turkey on and stuff like that. And she's more of the the cook. She's the cook more than me. So um, she said she wanted it. So I was really happy to be able to give her that. And uh, hopefully I'll see it next Thanksgiving or Christmas. <laughs> all right. So this Hearthstone mug sold for $14.99. The buyer was all in for $27.10. The next item that sold is this vintage 1991 Tyco crash test dummies plastic car. And this sold for $15. The buyer was all in for $21.35. I believe this came from a garage sale. It was in a big tote that I had. And, you know, I, I want to say I just let it sit in the tote for a long, long time. And I finally listed the tote. So um, it sold pretty quick, actually. So crash test um, dummies. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, crash test dummies. Definitely be on the lookout for those types of items. Um, they do have a following. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. That was 30 bread and butter bolos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.